You are now living well. Hey, thank you for living well with the reel. Today we're going to show you how to uh, do your own worm compost bin. We're doing the Worm Factory 360. And today, I wanted to show you starting off, <clears throat> we got a screen that comes with it. We put the screen right here to keep the cap from any uh, worms to getting through to come down to the spout. So I got some tape here. I'm going to tape it to just make sure it stay in place. Um, taping the actual screen shut it's over it that's gonna be good take one down at the bottom so the bottom will also be in place so no worms can get through just like so you might use a little more tape than that but that's sufficient it'll hold it I got a little uh, compost I got my own compost that I made up myself, and they gave me some shredded paper. Well, my aunt already blessed me with some shredded paper. I got plenty of these shreds at home. It comes with a, a thermometer, and it shows you, you know, what good levels it is, where it needs to be in order for it to stay heated. It comes with a rake, a little scraper, and some... Um, pumice. So those are rocks that to stay in there to keep it a little aerated. I got some worms on my own. They didn't come with the worms. So what we're going to do, the first thing to do, we're going to put this here first uh, top down. Then we're going to put some some other shreds down. Okay. Just a little bit of the paper. In case any worms, anything, they won't be able to get down to the bottom. I'm going to be moving kind of quick, right along. So we're only going to do one tray today. And we're getting this tray ready. Everything over here. So in the tray, turn it around like so. It says line the tray with the uh, paper. We had this paper. It comes from the Sunday paper. Uh, get a few coupons and this, that, and the other. So it's already wet. I had it outside, so it would be good and wet. Just going to put it down. That way it's not hard to tear. It's already wet. Okay. Cover it up in there, you can see it's good to go. So, and it's already wet, I already got a little water on it. So, now I'm going to start putting my compost in. As you can see, it's black. I had this compost, this compost I used, I, I did it last year uh, just for myself. That's um, wood chips and table scraps all together. As you see, I got sweet potato, apples, everything. Some of the stuff's gonna start it decomposing. Take off these here uh, plastics, stickers that comes from the store. Take that off. Let's put them in. Now we got our worms. Worms can have a good time. Again, to eat, feast, that's what the rake is for. You don't want to use too much of your hands with this stuff. It's already decomposing, which is what we wanted, you know? So the worms will come in and do their job. So you don't want to put too much uh, in there because the worms can only do about their body weight. I already have some eggs.
uh, jumping. I was about to keep jumping. There you go. Can you see that? <laughs> Them red wigglers there, they jump. So, and pretty much that's going to be about it. We got another thing of red wigglers. Hey, yeah, so this is how it looks um, with the worms added. The compost is in and they're doing their thing. They went down so they actually get down and you still can see a few moving around. But this is pretty much it. We're not going to start with another layer. So we're going to let them just do what they do. It's kind of cold out here, so I didn't put a lot of water on top. So I'm just going to put it, close it up. Now let me show you. This is the lid. This is where the spout goes. So you can see the spout. And you can turn it on. But it's off right now. Until they make some, what we call, worm tea. Yep, and thank you all as always. Below, wish above all things you prosper and be in good health, even as your soul prosper. Like, comment, share, and subscribe. Thank you for living well with the rail. Yeah, 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 we know, we know.